Welcome. I'm going to do a quick video to show you how to uh, get into the part two for the midterm exam and then how to submit it. So the midterm exam part two is not the serial problems that you're doing for your group assignment. So just to understand that, there are two separate assignments. In order to get into the midterm exam part two, you go to the exams area over on the left side of of uh, Blackboard, you go into the midterm BA211 folder and then the midterm BA11 part 2 folder. Okay, so there's two links in here. The one on the bottom is where you submit your assignment when you're done. Just like you submit your weekly assignments, right, from class. Uh, the, the work, the one on the, pro, on the top, the link on the top is actually where you uh, you click on that and it downloads the file. So I'm clicking on it here. You can see down in the bottom left corner, I'm in Google Chrome and so this is what that looks like. It's downloading the file. The file is an Excel file. It's macro enabled and so and you'll see why in a minute. So when you open the file, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so it'll have a blue screen and it'll have a box here for you to put your student ID number in and uh, then a button to click once you put your student ID number in. In order to put your student ID number in and click the box, what you need to first do is you need to enable editing. Right here up on the top, there's yellow uh, screens on the top. Uh, this, this worksheet has a macro in it or um, some, com uh, some computer kind of uh, code in it, I guess, computer code in it, right? that I put in there for it to do some logic once you put your uh, ID number in and click the button. So let's go ahead and hit enable editing and enable content. There's two of them that are gonna pop up there. Now you're ready to put in your uh, your code. Whatever your code is, it doesn't matter. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, right? That could be your student ID number in. Make sure to put your student ID number in, not anybody else's. And make sure you get the correct student ID number. I'm actually, when I grade your paper, I'm going to put your ID number in to my answer key and it's going to generate the numbers that you should have on your answers. So this one is not a group assignment. You're not going to be uh, able to share uh, your answers, right? Because you have distinct, unique numbers that you need to put into your uh, assignment and your submission and they'll be generated from this, uh, from your student ID number, okay? So don't, you know, make sure you have this box and you put in your student ID number and then click enter student ID, then click here to begin. So click this button. And then what it'll do is it'll look like this. It'll bring up the, there's five worksheets that you need to complete. The first worksheet, you're gonna actually be putting in some income statement numbers. Uh, the second worksheet, you're going to be, uh, you're gonna do some calculations using your knowledge of the accounting equation and your knowledge of equity. Increases and decreases in equity. Uh, Midterm problem three, you're gonna be doing some closing statements and you're gonna generate down here at the bottom a post-closing trial balance. And on the uh, Problem four, you're gonna to need to put down the normal balance for these different accounts. So is it a debit balance, normal balance, or is it a credit balance? And then midterm problem five, you're gonna be doing an adjusting journal entry. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you get started. Once you get all that information entered and get the worksheets done, you need to save the file, okay, and then you can submit it to the link on Blackboard. <clears throat> Once you download this file, you can save it. Save it somewhere that you know. You're not gonna, you're not gonna have to put in your student ID number every time. You're, you should be able to, once you do it once, and you get the numbers to work on, you should be able to save it. Maybe save it with a file name, with your name on it, where you're gonna know where it is. You can work on it all week. It's due by Saturday at midnight. And so, work on it all week, get it done, once, you, once you're happy with it, submit it to the link on Blackboard. Uh, it's going to be this link here in exams, midterm BA211, uh, 
and go into midterm BA211 part two. And this link here on the bottom with the ruler is where you're gonna submit your file. So you click on that, you browse your computer to find that a file that you saved and with all the answers in it and go ahead and uh, click submit once you once you attach that file so uh, hopefully this helps we'll talk to you later have a good day